What's up, apprentices? Quantum Tag here once again with another video. It's I, I okay. Look, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I have good reason for it. My internet, as you know, because I've uh, mentioned it multiple times, is just horrible, horrible. Um, but recently, it's just gotten really bad. Um, if you read my webtoon. You'll notice in the most recent chapter, I had to put it on hiatus because my internet was so bad, it took a good 15 minutes to um, load up all the files just so I could upload them to Webtoons. Um, I don't know if you know or not, but that's pretty bad. Pretty bad, yeah. Um, and it, it was just like five panels. It wasn't that many, it was just five panels. But, um, as of recently, it has gotten better, um, and if you're on my Discord channel, you'll know, like, I've been playing some Siege lately, but, um, I haven't really been recording. I've been really busy here at home, um, especially with the Air Force. I just found out, uh, this coming Wednesday, which is actually in three days, um, because it's Sunday today, I'm going back down to maps. It's going to be a special kind of physical for my ankle. Um, and as you remember, well, maybe if you're new to the channel, you might not remember this, but I was in the Air Force before. Um, during basic training, I got injured. I had two stress fractures in my ankle, and I got sent home because I thought I was injured prior to going to basic training. So, I got home, got um, physical rehabilitation for my ankle. It's all healed now, everything is completely fine, there's no pain, anything, and I'm trying to get back in. And that's been almost a year to the day, actually, because I came home last December. Um, it hasn't even felt like a year, my goodness. Um, but, yeah, I came home, and ever since then I've been trying to heal up so I can get back into the military, um, or go to college if the military denies me going back in, which I'm hoping doesn't happen when I go to maps, because that would suck. But, um, yeah, it's it's been a long time coming, and I'm about to find out very soon whether I can go back into the Air Force or not, and all that awesome stuff. But, that's uh, kind of how busy I've been for the last few weeks. Um, but here we are today with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I know this game hasn't gotten too many good reviews, but it's still Call of Duty, and I wanted to try it out for myself. I've always been a fan of Call of Duty. I've always loved playing their games. Modern Warfare 3 was probably my favorite, um, and also Black Ops 2. That one was pretty cool, too. Um, but, like... I've always kind of wanted to play Infinite Warfare, and I bought this game a while ago. I just couldn't download it because my internet speeds were horrible. But now it's finally downloaded. Um, I probably bought it like four months ago. So, yeah, it's finally downloaded. I can finally play it, and I actually did play the first thing of campaign, but we're going to be starting over just for video's sake. Um, and, yeah... So, why don't we just get right in into it, because I don't want to ramble for too long, it's already been four minutes. So, let's uh, do new game, yes, and we'll go regular, because I want to actually go through the story. The sun, the moon, and the stars would have disappeared long ago. Uh, actually, I'll just let you read this, because I would have to read it if you can see it. So, here it is. The needs of our planet were greater than she could supply. So we went beyond the reaches of our atmosphere. The new frontier offered the promise of a new beginning. But the distance gave way to a movement with no connection to the place we call home. New rules, new ambitions. A new enemy. The settlement defense front built an army and broke away from the earth with blood and violence. 
They aren't revolutionaries. They want absolute power. They raid colonies, take resources, and control territories by force. They use their fleet to block us from raw materials we need to survive. Their mission is to erase everything Earthborn. Today, the SDF is a war machine, ruled by its military. If a leader united that force, they would mobilize and try to take our homeland. War, this is Scar-1. Standing by for tasking. Copy, 1-1. One, one. One of our weapons facilities is under attack by the SDF. We believe this is part of an operation codenamed Raya. Intel suggests their target is a prototype weapon. Your team will extract the prototype and torch the site before SDF can locate it. Understood, Warlord. We'll get it done. One minute! Friendlies! Facility's dark. We get our weapon, torch the site. Gear check! OMA systems online. Rules of engagement. Weapon spree. Good to go. Ten seconds. Door! Green light's going on. Green light. Call it, Wolf. Go! Go, go! Stay tight. Surface temps 300 below. We gotta move. Alright, so before we get started, um, I just want to mention I'm going to not try to speak throughout most of this because I want to kind of focus on the story and also when people are talking in game, I don't want to like speak over them. Um, just so we get the most out of the story and all that. I will talk um, like small breaks here and there about the game and what I think um, and stuff like that but otherwise I'll be mostly silent so let's begin Reaper, skies are boots on ground copy one one the insert is a vertical drop with your position copy on the move tracking two targets below Sarge, take point. 1-1 one, one to Reaper. Set their gunners in the AO. Troops in contact. Copy, overlay. Uh. Let's get to the weapon before they do. Can you consider it? Down. Entry point's 30 meters dead ahead. Keep moving. Stand fast. Sentry's on the roof. Wolf, take one, we got the others. Got three more coming up. Push up. Mind the gap. They just execute. SDF launch weapons, not prisoners. Multiple targets. Sneak is out. Copy that. Right clear. Man out. Our weapons in the armory vault. Have a click up. Close quarters. Check your scopes. You think they had the blast? I assume they did. Let's give them a proper welcome then. Your next is security record. Welcome to Europe, Tell us an anti Copy that. What's Shit. that? Uh, 
Stay down. Moving up. Keep back the final location. Reaper, we're in R&D. Moving to the armory. He's Copy. Down. Be advised. SCF What's your is almost inside. Operation Riot cannot succeed. Once the weapon is secure, I can activate the self-destruct sequence. Copy. Eyes on research lab. Armory should be next. That's our mark. What's that? Go loud! Keep us moving! Stay alert, we're not clear. Line them up! Target's down. One one, we're off the time across the bingo fuel. What's your status? Move on target now. x six marks. Out. Terminal's on the other side. Just in time. Sights, crash it. All clear. Jackpot. Got eyes on the ball. Reaper, we're inside the armory. Moving to secure the weapon. Copy one one. Weapon is in the vault. Once it's secure, I'll initiate the self-destruct sequence. F spa prototype. Put it up, Sipes. We're gonna need it. Get Wolf, compact model, same tech. The riot operation we're after this. Reaper, weapon secure. Confirming execute order and self-destruct. Roger. Initiating self-destruct sequence. Be advised, set to FS 50 plus infantry and machines inbound. You need to get out of there now. Copy, we're Oscar Mike. RV in five. Clock's ticking. Let's move. Attention, self-destruct. All personnel must clear the area. Get him up, you need 
Stop transmitting. It's been 18 hours, no contact. Set deaths made no demands. Settlement Defense Front doesn't make demands. They planted a flag in our rock. They executed three men and shot down a pilot. Our team was sent to secure classified weapons from a closed facility. That facility is a black site, Admiral. Why the hell is Set Def allowed in that airspace? By permission of the Accords, all nations have access to. Sir, free... that objective required a full strike force, not a four man team. Lieutenant Reyes. I implore you to use diplomacy in this office. Take a different tact. Yes, sir. Who else knows about this? Right now, Joint Strategic Air Command and you. This is a deliberate act of aggression, Admiral. We should be out there on patrol, not down here throwing confetti. The rules of engagement prohibit definitive action under these circumstances. So we stand by with our barrels in the sand and we watch a Fleet Week parade? Lieutenant Reyes, Make no mistake, my instincts, which are aligned indelibly with your own, are that we need to engage. Why don't we, sir? <sighs> They're politicians, Reyes. They'll wipe hell's ass with whatever flag keeps the smokestacks burning. To these men, the idea of mounting an offensive triggers a fresh and unplanned piss. Until there's war, the warriors aren't in charge. But, sir, by the time there's war, it's too late. Hesitation is a hole in the head. You drilled that into us relentlessly in flight school. Work the problem. Respond. You were always a fast learner, Lieutenant. STRATCOM is well aware of our grievances. At this time, no use of force is being considered on an operational level. These are the laws of war, son. Thank you for the briefing, sir. Admiral Reigns, E3N is in position on the roof. Thank you, Petty Officer. What is E3N? Go take a look for yourself. I think you'll be quite impressed. Dismissed. How many? Four. KIA. Europa? Front was already there. Took out the whole team. Looted the site. Son of a bitch. This Felice stuff is nonsense. We should be up in our jackals flying watch. Admiral doesn't disagree. Captain Alderno? Negative. Today, retribution isn't a warship, it's a parade float. Whole fleet here in Geneva? Doesn't seem right. We do this every year, Saul. Well, let's not miss the party. After you, Lieutenant. Thanks, Slick. So, that was the first mission. Come on. We'll take the scenic route. Yeah, sure. That was the first mission. Uh, I think it was Rising Threat or something. Not a list you want to make. Peace to the Fallen. Hmm.
Interesting. All right, let's continue. Down here a day, so I prefer the wild black yonder. You and me both. Reigns mentioned a thing called E3N. Heard of it? Thank By the way, I just noticed something that she said. The wild black yonder. I'm pretty sure that means well, bl space is black. It's so it's really dark because light doesn't really travel through it that much. Um, otherwise, it'd be much much brighter. But, um, while I was in the Air Force, one of the first lines that we said, uh, for, I think it's the, um, Air, or, uh, Air Force song was, off we go into the wild blue young, uh, yonder. Because with the Air Force, you're flying jets in the blue skies, but with this, you're flying spaceships through the black space. I thought that was a pretty cool thing they did. He's flying to the ceremony with us. Make sure you don't call him that. Never. To his face. Make a hold. Right this way, lieutenants. Service has its perks. We got a plane to catch. Make a hole. Also something that we always said in Air Force. <laughs> this is awesome. There's so many things that remind me of basic training. This. Just make a hole. Public relations, Reyes. Propaganda, Salt. We lost four men and we're throwing a party. Our hands are tied. Take a little R and R today, Reyes. That's an order. You can't give me an order. We're the same rank. You got me there, Lieutenant. Sometimes I like to um, stand and watch the scenery. I think we found E3N. Indeed, sir. Petty Officer First Class E3N. And has tactical humanoid. Fair revision. That's a mouthful. You ain't kidding. Call me Ethan, ma'am. What are your orders? I'm assigned to retribution, reporting to Captain Alder. Program for combat? Thoroughly, ma'am. Born to kill. You look like you can kick some serious ass. Well, now you're just making me blush, sir. Step aside, Ethan. This old goat can still climb. Welcome aboard, Admiral. Well, now that we're all acquainted, let's get up and away. Roger, Admiral. Six to red crowd, we're up. Roger, six. Now, as I was saying, I like to kind of um, stand and watch the scenery because I like to see how far people would program things to go. Like, after a while it loops itself, and I can notice that, but I just kind of like to stand and watch how far um, things would, like, play out with certain background people. Sometimes it's fun to watch. Browns on Scorpion Avengers. Copy. Raven 6 to Avengers. Top cat is on board. We're coming to you. Copy 6. Avengers is awaiting your arrival. You kept the Ethan project well under the radar, Admiral. Captain Alder knew. First troop ready model. Quite remarkable. We're revealing him at the ceremony today. You know I get stage fright, right, sir? You got feelings, Ethan? I do, Lieutenant. I do. I carry the brain of a human farmer. Holy shit, are you serious? No, man. Not at all. <laughs> you got you, Lieutenant. Did not. Hey, the scones are working overtime today, huh, Admiral? A lot of Allied traffic. 
Always vigilant, Lieutenant. You familiar with the air intercept systems, Ethan? Earth's Iron Shield. Major firepower. Vengeance, this is Raven 6. We're on final approach. Copy 6. Vengeance is awaiting your arrival. Admiral, sir. What is it, Ethan? The Aegis guns. They appear to be tracking our fleet. So much for that parade.